I'm interested in the chemistry of film photography because I love taking pictures, but I normally use a digital camera. I've always been curious about how film photography works, so I decided that I wanted to learn more about it. When you take a picture, you're recording the light reflected by the objects in the camera's field of view. The reflected light causes a chemical change to the film inside the camera. This is called a chemical record. Light is not a particle or a wave, but it has properties of both. The sun's energy comes to the earth in visible and invisible portions on the electromagnetic spectrum. Its energy is distributed in photons. The energy of each photon is inversely related to the wavelength of the light. The energy of each photon causes a chemical change to the photographic detectors that are on film. Materials can be chemically stable until they are exposed to light by careful engineering. The process in which electromagnetic energy causes chemical changes to matter is known as photochemistry. The back side of a strip of film is where the photochemistry happens. There may be 20 or more chemical layers here that are less than 1 1,000th of an inch thick in total. Some of the layers form images, while others are there to filter light or control the chemical reactions in the processing steps. The majority of this space is taken up by a purified version of edible gelatin. The photon detectors in the image forming layers are made up of sub-micron sized silver halide crystals. Silver halide crystals are made by combining silver nitrate and halide salts, such as chloride, bromide, and iodide. The crystals are chemically modified to increase their light sensitivity by adding spectral sensitizers. These molecules attach to the crystal surface and transfer the energy from photons to the silver halide crystal as photoelectrons. When exposed to light, they undergo a photochemical reaction. Other chemicals are added to the crystal to affect its light sensitivity also known as its photographic speed, or ISO, or ASA rating. When the camera shutter is opened, a latent image is formed. The latent images from the exposures you made are contained on the film when you go to process it. In the first step of processing, the film is placed in a developing agent that converts the silver ions into silver metal. If done correctly, the crystals with latent images will turn them into pure silver. The next step is to use a stop bath that stops the development process. After that, the film is placed in a fixing bath that removes the unexposed silver halide crystals and leaves the silver metal behind. Then the film is rinsed with water to remove the processing chemicals and dried. The exposures are cut into negatives, which then must be printed onto another light sensitive material, usually photographic paper. The face side of black and white photographic paper is coated with silver halide crystal grains that are sensitized to red, green, and blue light. Gelatin is used to hold the image forming grains and the color forming couplers together in thin layers on the paper. To make a print that is bigger than the actual size of the negative, you need an enlarger. An enlarger is a projector with a lens to focus the image and a controlled light source. The negative is then placed in the enlarger, which projects the image onto a flat surface. Then the image is put into focus, and all the lights are turned off. Then the photographic paper is placed on the flat surface and exposed to the light from the projector for a specific amount of time. This forms a latent image in the exposed silver grains. The brightest parts of the print are the densest areas of the negative and receive the least amount of light. Making color prints is much more complicated. First, rolls of color paper are loaded into a printer. Then the roll of negatives is loaded and the printer previews each negative and makes adjustments to the color balance in case they were exposed incorrectly. To develop the images, the oxidized developer molecules combine with the color forming couplers to create a silver image and a dye image and the reaction is stopped by a stop bath. The silver image and any unexposed silver halide are removed in a bleach solution. Then the print is rinsed to get rid of the chemicals and dried.